Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the RX 5700XT, as you can see here, with the driver's Adrenaline 2020 20.4.1. Uh, this one is the Power Color version from Power Color. What the heck? Yeah, it, it doesn't even have a model, you know, a model name at least. It runs at like 1950 to 2000 MHz on the core clock when under full load and while gaming, of course. And I'm running it with the Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM, CL14 3200 MHz. Let's get into it, my friends. I'm going to be testing this one out at 1080p as well as 1440p right there. And I'm going to start off by testing the low settings with the graphics quality set to 6 right here because it makes things look a lot prettier and not like a blurry vomit mess. Everything else right now is set to the lowest settings. Oh. Shader level wasn't, but okay. Uh, everything else over here is set to off. And here in the experimental settings, I'm not going to mess with those throughout this video. So even when we are testing a maxed out settings, uh, I'm not going to mess around with that. Okay, so let's get into it, my friends. Here we go. Uh, as you can see, by the way, our GPU usage is just sitting below 50%. So that means that we are CPU bound. Of course, this game only uses like four cores. Like it doesn't even use four cores efficiently to be honest the CPU usage is running like between 15 and 20 percent most of the time here uh, and that's not very good yeah we just died here this is the same server as we were playing earlier with Digimon unfortunately we got caught under those bushes by the way if you want to see like episode one this is not really a series but uh, yeah I played with Digimon god damn it are you serious <laughs> Uh, and we managed to do some things actually, you know, craft a few things here and there, but unfortunately we died. I think I'm gonna die with that bear over there. I'm not sure why that bear is not uh, hunting the deers right there, but... Uh, yeah, of course he, he needed to go hunt me. Yeah, that's... Uh, he, he's not. Okay, then. He doesn't really care. Alright, guys. So, unfortunately, if you really want, like, a 144 hertz experience every single time, like, 144 plus FPS with the RX 5700 XT, which should have been achievable, honestly. This game it looks like crap at the lowest settings. And it, it still is running really, really poorly here with the 1% lows below low 60 fps it is installed on an ssd as well so there's nothing really i can do to make it run well we are getting a ton of spikes right there in the graph whenever you are gpu bound i think those smooth out a little bit so at higher settings we might be able to see a smoother gameplay here but if a smooth high refresh rate experience was what you were were aiming for i guess you, you can't really have it with rust here unfortunately this this game has been not well optimized since like 2013, you know? It actually first had a very lightweight version back in like 2012. When it first came out, it actually ran very well, even on the GT or GeForce 210. So it was really well optimized, but then they just came out with this experimental update, whatever it was that they called it, and they messed up everything basically, and it runs like crap. That's that's very sad, okay? That's really, really sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we just died around here. Yeah, we were hidden in these bushes. Yeah, somebody just stole all of our stuff, which was like a bone knife and some spears and clothes and not really not really a big deal. But anyways, I, we fought for that, okay? <laughs> I'm mad. I'm a little bit mad about that. You know, every time I join Rust and see that I've been killed and I don't have anything else, it just makes me not want to come back to Rust anymore, you know? And we were actually thinking of making a series out of this in our second channel because, well, we only do gameplays in that channel. By the way, link is down below in the description if you want to check it out. Anyways, guys, this is it for 1080p low settings. I think that's enough. We've seen enough here. We see that the the GPU usage doesn't really go up. We're getting pretty much the same FPS as, for example, an RX 570 or even the GTX 960 because, well, the game it just isn't really that GPU demanding here at these settings and it doesn't really use your CPU efficiently, so that's that's a shame, really. And now let's go ahead and set it to 1440p. Okay, so now we're at 2560 by 1440 using the same settings over here, as you can see. Uh-huh. Okay, let's do this. 
this and we yeah obviously i was expecting it to not be at 99% usage and get pretty much the same fps so i'm gonna run around for a little bit we will see that we get pretty much similar fps to what we got at 1080p although the game now looks a lot better because i'm running a 1440p monitor so my native resolution is 2560 by 1440 so it looks way way better way way crispier and it actually looks fine here at the lowest settings with that graphical quality slider set to 6 so yeah that makes our textures look a little bit better as well and everything like view distance and stuff like that it affects those settings as well so yeah if you are looking for a decent and high FPS experience in a game like this I suggest you to use these settings and maybe mess around with the view distance setting as well because some of you like that and the shader setting also makes things look a lot prettier but of course I can't really test every single combination of settings in this game so we were just gonna do the low settings as well as the ultra settings because well I feel like even on ultra settings at 1080p we might not even reach 99% GPU usage in this GPU you know the 5700 XT is actually quite a beefy GPU it should be able to run this game absolutely fine uh, because for example even the 1660 Ti, they do quite well in this game as well. Anyways, our averages are still pretty much the same here, and yeah, I was expecting that, of course, as I told you. Well, you know what? I would have no problems playing like this, and th this is actually decent. You know, the graphics don't look too bad like this. I was telling you that it looks like crap at low settings, but that is when you actually set that quality setting slider to zero or one or whatever the minimum is on that yeah it really looks like crap but yeah this is not too bad and as you can see by the way we are using up to six gigabytes of vram and 11 gigabytes of ram even with these settings so yeah guys this game is not well optimized whatsoever we are still seeing the odd stutters here and there although the game is installed on an ssd and everything else and of course our specs are pretty damn good for a game like this look at that the massive massive stutter well it just sucks you know it just sucks to see that this game doesn't really receive the love in optimization that it should in my opinion because this is actually a very nice game there's a guy right there so i'm not gonna go this way because this game there's a ton of people playing it there's a ton of people that enjoy it i myself played it for like around 200 hours 20 of which were like benchmarking the other 180 hours of which were like in 2014 with my friends and we really liked to play this game although i played it with like 25 to 40 fps back then with an fx 6350 and a gtx 760 so now well getting these fps is of course a, a lot better but it still is nothing special you know it, it is nothing special i would like to see way way better frames coming out of a system like this right guys this is it for 1440p pretty much the same experience as 1080p with the same settings and now let's go ahead and set it to 1080p once again and increase our settings to the max because if you do have something like a 5700 xt you really want to max out this game i think you know so let's go ahead ahead and do that here we go i'm not sure if i'm gonna do tssaa I'm, I'm gonna do smaa here on the anti-aliasing not gonna enable depth of field i'm just gonna enable that so you can see it because it looks really really bad and then i'm gonna disable that motion blur of course let's turn that off i don't really like the sharpen effect here in this game and the experimental of course we're not gonna touch those okay so see that this is what the depth of field makes you can't really see anything it's such a poor it's it's the worst implementation of depth of field that i've seen in a video game i think so let's turn that off guys and uh our gpu usage is almost getting there in the 90 percent range 90 plus percent range i think but yeah still we're still cpu bound for some reason yeah probably some of the settings here that we increased were cpu demanding uh, this is still not enough for us to get a gpu bound experience 
experience so the game might still stutter a little bit here and there it's an okay experience if you want to play at max settings uh, it's still gonna be above 60 fps and i hope we are above 60 fps even at 1440p although i am not really feeling it <laughs> it's okay the one percent lows are pretty bad right now there's some fog effects i've never seen those actually the most demanding areas in this game are like the forest and the swamp as well the swamp is like similar to what we get in the forest areas so uh, you can see that these these are probably the lowest fps that we'll get here throughout this game except for when it dropped to like 60s don't know why it dropped so far but okay then maybe it was still loading stuff because we are uh, riding a horse right now and then the map needs to uh, load stuff in it so i don't know guys but okay let's just move away from here yeah we've seen our fps looking at all of the trees right here and our gpu usage actually gets maxed out when we do so and we still get like 80 something fps that's a good experience you know but when the game came out when the experimental update came out back in in 2014 um, a GTX 980 which was a top of the line GPU back then and it's comparable to like a GTX 1060 was the recommended requirement for this game so that just goes to show you that this game is really really demanding even today newer GPUs struggle playing this game at 1080p and yeah, this one doesn't really struggle because you get 60 plus FPS all of the time, even on maxed out settings at 1080p, but still, this is not really a 1080p card, I would say, you know, if you are playing at 1080p, the max I would get would be probably a an RTX 2060 or an RX, just get out of the horse! Okay, thank you. Or an RX 5600 XT. I think the 5700, 5700 XT are starting to get in that 1440p ultra settings territory because you will get 60 plus fps in pretty much every title with these gpus at 1440p ultra settings so that's that's really good and even high refresh rate uh 1440p experiences are very attainable with the 5700 xt and let's go ahead and do 1440p now and here we go 2560 by 1440 everything still the same here in the settings menu everything like ultra settings i would say and we are getting right around 60 fps because we are gpu bound hey look at our cpu usage sometimes it goes down to like four percent two percent right there this is stupid this is just ridiculous guys all right guys we are in a very demanding area for the gpu because there's a ton of trees right here and we're still getting really close to 60 fps so i would say this is very very playable i would say rust is very playable above like 40 fps so if you want to max out this game at 1440p is definitely doable with the 5700 xt as you can see it doesn't really drop from 50 fps so this is an impressive experience of course it is very very demanding probably one of the most demanding games out there aside from the newer triple a titles of course uh this game yeah you can get a 60 plus fps average still and if you overclock this gpu or if you have uh, like a red devil version or the nitro plus version of this car something really really beefy with strong overclocks out of the box you should be able to achieve 60 plus fps all of the time in this game if i overclocked this card i would probably be able to do that as well 60 plus fps all of the time but stock out of the box with a normal ish uh, 5700 XT like the Pulse for example, the Gigabyte OC model, the cheaper ones you know will run very close to this and it is running impressively well for what this is like the, the textures on this game are really really beautiful when it's maxed out and the graphics are really great of course there's some visual bugs sometimes the uh, shadows start blinking and stuff like that because well the game is still kind of a mess when it comes to bugs and optimization this is perfectly playable i will have no problems playing like this and if we end up playing this game for a series in our second channel i will probably run it at these settings just for those visuals uh, for the videos of course so well guys i guess this is it thank you so much for watching we've ran two demanding areas here at 1440p ultra settings like right here 54 fps this is probably one of the most 
most demanding areas that we've seen so far but as you can see right there our averages are still above 60 fps our rooms and lows are those for 54 fps by looking at that direction over there it's still a very playable experience and you should have no problems playing rust with the 5700 xt look at the visual bugs that i was telling you about see that that line over there yeah that's yeah i don't like it <laughs> well guys thank you so much for watching again i hope to see you in the next one and as always guys i love you all Bye bye